Okay, so we're live at the death race. We got Robin and Joe. How's it going? This guy has finished, I think you've finished more death races than anybody out there. Four summer more than anybody. Four summer complete. You know what that says? He's a badass. So here's the deal. We're talking about next year. Do we have the same format or not? And then somebody said, well, there's the old guard and the new guard with the death race. And the old racers would say, it's not as tough as it used to be. Reality is, all the old guard that was competing this weekend, guess what happened last night? They all dropped. They all dropped. Yeah, this is hard. I've helped with two. I've done four. I would never have done five if I was in this one. This is tough. This is, this is really tough. Everybody's coming up that's dropped, saying tough, but it's the best experience they've ever had. It's a tough race. It's By the way, we're only on the first obstacle. I know. This is the first one. It's three obstacles. We got first one. First one. Forty hours in, they got to the first obstacle. Yep. yep. So. And Guinness Book happened to be here. Just happened to show up, and we're breaking that record too. <laughs> what are the odds? So we've got one lady crushing it. Um, those that might not be familiar with Amy. Um... There's a lot of there's a lot of discussion going on throughout the internet in about 40 countries. I saw people commenting. They're saying she has an advantage. She's missing a leg, so she's moving faster because she's lighter. So what we did, a lot of people don't know. We might as well let everybody know. We tied a 10-pound weight to her to make it fair. She's still beating everybody. Double. She's ahead of everybody by double. She's into a double-digit round now, right? Double-digit round. Correct. That's correct. She doesn't complain. Guys, watch your heads. She doesn't complain. She's got no excuses. She's always happy. It's all good. She's very good. Nelson, what do you think? Best death race yet? Honestly? Yeah. 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 Good answer. Yeah. There's a many reasons, man. You're still a professional. Don't become an ex-professional. If, if you become an ex-professional, you're my puppy. Okay? So get it done. Tell him he's in the premier bus lane. He gets out of that. He's mine. Hey, listen, Robin, with all due respect, sir, let the pros try to break a record here, man. Go to it, buddy. Right. Doesn't serve anyone well. You're, you're exactly right, sir. Okay. And I don't want to have to be talking to you as an ex-professional. Right. Because you won't have a chance to talk. What year was it we went button, um, repelling into the thing? Or what race was it? Gogi, we repelled in there. We've got Ashley Z. We are live on the Spartan Endurance Facebook page, the main page. Hi, guys. <sighs> what are your thoughts? On Death Race? Or on, on, on From when we went to the church till now? It's been fun. It's been boring. It's been hard. It's been easy. It's been so many different things um but this right now in this moment i'm just like my knees hurt my elbows hurt and bear crawling and is not even a bear crawl anymore like you're just scooting and and like it just like roll not even rolling because you can't uh, it's just hard it's hard on the body and it's just hard just uh just to uh clarify what ashley just said rolling disqualifies you correct you cannot mm. So I'm in the group of 10 that um, is doing the Guinness World Records, which I am not doing, not trying to get, but there's no rolling, it's just crawling. And so if you crawl or if you roll, you get a ticket if you are on the other side. We don't really get messed with, um, but we're not allowed to do it unless we won't be able to um, go up for grabs for the, um, for the Guinness World Records. But, um, it's easier on us, which is kind of nice because they don't bother us too much. They just let us do our thing and we get a little bit more recovery time and not get bugged to get back out there right away. But the weather is just so intense that everyone's kind of getting special treatment right now because it's it's brutal out here. It's just dry. It's dry. I don't have a buff. It's just nasty. But they made us burgers, so it's cool. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to disturb you much longer. Okay. Just wanted to say hi and let you say hello to... Everybody is watching. Bye. You got a lot of people rooting for you here. Aww. You got Gino, you've got Robert Goody, they're all saying hello to you. Hey. And I'm fantastic. Dirty. <laughs> and I get to keep this bib, so I'm coming home with a bib no matter what. <laughs> Good job. I'll see you soon.
Oh, so I see a familiar face. Mr. Lopez. See, we're, we're disturbing his lunch right now. Huh? Yep. We're disturbing your lunch. We just want to say hello. We're on Facebook. We're saying hello. This is how your death race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zoe. Yeah, it's warm oh, for the dog. Take it easy. On the summer hoogie, it was gonna keep. And if it wouldn't start, you thought it was a good battery. Oh, it's water? fine right now. Oh, good. Water. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, yes, hot water, love it. So these guys are smart. They're just having a breather. We're live on the Spartan Endurance Facebook uh, main page. Hey. Um, thoughts so far from everything from the wood chopping until now. I think amazing. I think everybody should try out a death race sometime in their life. They should try to do that. Because win or lose, you still come out ahead. Because the experience is pretty kick ass. And I'm having a great time. We're right now. So, I, don't, I would you never wish to interrupt it. you, but there's a <laughs> lot of people asking why are there some races with orange tags on them and others haven't got orange tags. So, what is the relevance of the orange tags? Uh, I, I've been a good boy up to this point. Uh, and if you did some kind of screw up, for example, when you first registered, we had to hold our axes in front of us, mm -hmm. uh, level to our shoulders, and the first 10 people to dip it below got one of these little orange cards and it says apparently I wasn't ready and there were a bunch of little events that that occurred throughout uh, the last couple of days I think today's Friday Friday or s it's Friday today and um, we were, we were required to bring four of them and I have three on me right now because you're not supposed to sit still uh, at all during this the, this monstrous low crawl, and I, I will contest every allegation because I made it. I, I'm Robin. He's got it out for me, man. He um, he was on me online before this race, and now when he finally has me. Uh, he would get me, but I always make it a point where I got one limb over, slowly moving, because this is moving. From really far away, it probably doesn't look like it. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. You get four of these, you're in deep trouble. We don't know how or what, but you get four of them on you, and you are in deep trouble. I think uh, my suspicion, because we have some sleuths in the group that have... Uh, that know a school bus service in Pittsfield, that there are a bunch of school buses supposed to come here. Um, I think sometime later today or early tomorrow, that's supposed to go out to uh, Long Island. So that's our, that's our guess. But our guess is that if you have four of these cards, you'll get to go on the bus. Instead, you get special treatment from Joe. That's probably our. That's probably our fear. Um, commenting on your explanation, we have uh, James Freeland, who's uh, James, bit of a bit of a veteran at this. He's saying, "Poppycock, the system is consistently fair in its unfairness." That is a very true statement, my friend. <laughs> you are you death. This guy death races. Yes. This guy death races. For sure. Um, uh, so, so speaking of veteran death racers, you probably get a kick out of stupid little tricks that we circumvent the rules with. Um, I like the. Uh, we needed six inches of water over a stone. The Don Devaney Dam. 
If any of you guys are familiar with that, we were tasked to do that. We were all sitting in the water, kind of huddling close, and we say, "What was? What do we have to do again?" He's like, "I need six inches of water on top of this rock." So someone just took their camel back and plop, plopped it right on top of there, and the challenge is done. That's the same thing over there. We had catch fish. So we had uh, one of the required gear lists was a uh, fly fishing. It's called a dry fly. And size with 18. A, size 18. Uh, this guy, his bib is ripped to shreds. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, this this fly fishing. Yes. Robin's instructions were, I need a fish uh, that is hooked onto this dry fly. In 30 minutes, have it in my hand, and literally like the last 10 seconds, no one was catching a fish uh, because only about five of us actually brought fishing line, even though it wasn't on the required gear list. We kind of you know put two and two together. Someone actually had um, tuna, like that you could eat, like tuna fish, and they just pop, plopped the little dry fly in it, handed it to them, and met the requirements, and we passed. I don't know what we got out of it. Do you know? I trust you good, yeah? Yeah, it, it was saying it was supposed to be something special for the person so they could probably avoid this one. Yes. Because it wasn't a good thing. They said it was the person who the Well, I'll leave you be. Um, yeah, we got a long, hydrate and do your thing. long day, and it is sweltering hot. Oh, it, it, it is think, very toasty. I, I don't know what the heat index is, but it is definitely uh, a pretty hot day. And um, we have... Really, really skilled uh, first aid folks out there that are checking to make sure you don't have signs of heat exhaustion. And uh, we're doing our due diligence in trying to stay in the shade to avoid that because we do not want to get dropped from the event. So that's I actually, where we are right now. So I actually see somebody over here with the uh, four tags that you mentioned. So I'm going to talk to this guy now who is adorned with four tags. Have you been told what the bad thing might be for wearing four tags. It's a bit of an interesting one because they literally looked at me and just said, you're in trouble, go and get a fourth tag. Um, and then when I asked about it, they basically just said, don't make me give you a fifth one. Oh, interesting. Or don't make me ask you for a fifth one because I don't have a fifth one to give them. So that would be the scenario that I don't know about. But the first one was when we were fishing, I was tying the fly onto the fishing line because I was sat back tying the tie. It was kind of like, you're not doing the fishing, you've got a tag. The second one was for sort of a group of us being a little bit late to the sort of get in line. And then these two were for sort of crawling through the barbed wire crawl. Um, probably stopped off to chat with some people too often. Um, Got those ones for that. Well, for fear yeah. of getting you another one, I shall get out of your way because I wouldn't want you to get Sorry. another one. Uh, keep going. You're getting some hellos from Alexander saying hi, Andrew, from the UK, so stick with it. Thank you. Who do we have here? Oh, hello. hello. We're live on Facebook. Hello. Any messages you'd like to hello, Facebook. pass along? It's a beautiful day in Vermont. <laughs> some. 12 hours of crawling. Yeah, you've done 4 hours and 20 something minutes. It actually flew by. Yeah. Oh, keep going. You need to take two bottles of water. Ah, so we have an update. You are in danger of being medically pulled. What's going on? They said that I'm not sweating. So they put me in a cool room and made me drink two bottles of water. Okay, and what's the situation now? Uh, I guess I gotta watch it and make sure that I keep hydrating. But you're still in the race. I am. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> okay. Well, we shall uh, leave you be. Hopefully that water will get into your system and nothing bad will happen. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. How's it going? Yeah. Okay. So those people are all still in the race. We have, we have one DNF. Right here, everybody knows Dash. Hello. We're live on Facebook. Um, any messages you'd like to pass along to anybody? Yeah, guys, I love you all. Thank you for all your support, uh, every one of them. 
and every one of you. I still haven't slept properly. <laughs> And I love my boy so much as well. This is this has been like you can't imagine death race. The death race is like the fly like obstructing cookie now. It's a big fly. I think it's the horse fly. <laughs> Got it. So the death race is brutal, brutal, merciless hell, um, hell on earth torture. <laughs> so this is not it there's like much more brutal things coming what we've done what we, we've been through I have pulled I've been pulled medically uh, at about 27 hours my hip has gave in that's it I can't walk anymore I'm limping I've uh, been trying to take painkillers that didn't work I've taken too many of them <laughs> they didn't like it so yeah finished it nicely with strong 1000 burpees whilst the others did 3000 i admire them this is what they doing this is just like superhumans at the moment i'm kind of jealous i'm not here right now but you know you sometimes have to preserve and save your own body because injuries are permanent and sometimes you just have to decide to finish on time rather than maybe there won't be any finishers I don't actually think there will be any and if I'm betting maybe Amy she is like a yeah. machine oh my god if you haven't met Amy check her out she's crazy I love you all uh, it's absolutely beautiful here it's sunny they are having starting to have heat strokes now <laughs> okay. um, love you all Big kisses. Ciao. Here he comes. I'm trying, man. I'm not in the race anymore. Leave me alone. We're on the Facebook Spartan Endurance page. Hey guys. We've got a few people asking after you and now we've got you. So uh, what are your thoughts? Um, this was hellacious. Everything that I expected. I came here to get my butt kicked and I got my butt kicked and I'm not upset about having to bow out last night, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, wish I could be out here on in some regard, but for the most part, I'm glad I'm not doing that. So it's a great time. Cool, cool. Well, uh, we'll sign off for now. We'll come back in, I don't know, two, three hours' time, do a few more updates. Uh, until then, as usual, keep following Peak and Spartan Endurance and Spartan on the various channels. We will update you as best as we can. See, Mike's just got you, everybody.